Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Dragon Quest XI video. This is um, just picking right up from where we left off. We're apparently in the world of a painting, I guess. Um, crazy things are happening. But anyways, if you missed the last part, you'll find a link in the description. So go ahead and check it out if you need to. Uh, so what do you think is happening here? What do you think is the cause of all this mysterious stuff? Well, they did say they were looking for happiness, right? From that painting or something? Right. So this goddess apparently grants happiness. And for some reason, I guess, the people that come visit the painting get trapped inside the painting. Yeah. And now they're like, I don't know, worshipping her maybe in order to gain happiness or something? What the? Uh, so they are... Um, what do you think? Good, good spirit or bad spirit? Mm seems fishy um, and not like literally yeah so they're like where are you looking uh, I'm over here you fools and I guess I guess it's the painting okay that's oh, creepy <laughs> that's legit oh, creepy shit. yeah uh, that's actually pretty creepy it's counting he fool me that's the old style of counting yeah isn't it? I guess so um, seven colors. Um, what could this possibly be referring to? Wait, do we have seven party members? I can't remember. How many people do we have in our party? Oh, that might be... Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. All right. Apparently we're a good color. Apparently. Oh. Nice. She said, like, other people were dirty colors. So. Yeah. Makes up for G's expressionless face, but yes. <laughs> your face is dumb, but you're a good color. <laughs> yeah, I, li I like your color. Okay. It's interesting that she's calling us, like, um, colors. Maybe she sees everyone's auras. Yeah, or it's just related to a painting or something. I don't know. What do you think is gonna happen to them? Do they do they die permanently? No. Um. So are they I'm, just drunk? Or? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> everyone's really wasted. Are we seven party members? Yeah. Four, five. Oh yeah. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if there's any like symbolism behind that, <laughs> like specifically seven colors, like seven colors of a rainbow. Maybe. Wait, but... rainbows have seven colors, right? Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So That's maybe... Seven. Oh, and then there's the thing with the orbs, and all the orbs are different colors, so... Yeah, but I don't think we're collecting seven orbs. Yeah, but there's also the rainbow stick, right? Yeah. So I think maybe that there has to be some kind of symbolism here. Seven colors of different orbs, rainbow stick, seven party members. Oh, man. You might be overthinking. I don't know. This is Dragon Quest Eleven. Oh, my God. Seven Eleven. It's a conspiracy. Whoa, to, I mean, 7-Eleven did have a Dragon Quest-like campaign. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, they do, actually, if you have visited Japan or you live in Japan or something, uh, you might know this, uh, but every, like, time there's a new Dragon Quest game, or not 7-Eleven, sorry, Lawson. Lawson does a 7 uh, does a Dragon Quest oh, yeah, it was Lawson. Uh, campaign. So, a few times in the past, you can actually go to Lawson and get a slime-shaped and colored meat bun, which is pretty cool. Didn't they also have, like, Dragon Quest, like, fried chicken? I can't remember. Well, I do remember the Hoimi slime. The Hoimi, the Hoimi, um... I think it was the Hoimi Karage. So it was like Yeah, a, yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, it was fried chicken. They're kind of like chicken nuggets, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, Karage, so fried chicken. And it was called, like, Hoimi slime flavored. But what it actually was was just, like, I think mayonnaise and... Yeah. Something else. I never got to try. Did you? You didn't get to try it, did you? I did not try it, no. Yeah. I don't know about you, but something called, like, peel slime flavor doesn't really sound like an appealing flavor to me. I almost got it, because close <laughs> to, um... I go to a Lawson, like, almost every day. Just buy coffee or whatever. Mm -hmm. And every time they have, um, like a different campaign, I'm always so tempted to, to get a meat bun or whatever. Mm -hmm. The last one I tried uh, was the Kirby meat bun. And actually, that was really good. And really cute? Yeah, I mean, I took a picture of it. I, maybe I, sh I, sent, I, I sent it to you, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I think you did. I can see now that. Whoa, you That's need to go get that chest. treasure yeah. chest. Maybe it's 
it's a trap though, I don't know. Oh my oh, god, that shit. just insta-killed me. How dare you? How dare you? Um, okay. I have to get G back up. But yeah, uh, the Kirby meat bun was like tomato garlic flavor, I want to say. That sounds good. It was really good. Um, but yeah, because it's just a limited item. It's gone now, and I'm sad about that. Yeah, that's the only thing is like they have a lot of cool like seasonal or limited time like just tons of different foods yeah and it's really fun but at the same time sometimes it's sad just because like there's one that you really like but then they and then it just goes it. away yeah yeah japan has a weird obsession with like limited stuff every so every time you uh you go somewhere you'll see something that's limited. Like, what were the really good chips that we ate? They were like jalapeno. Was it jalapeno? Yeah, they were jalapeno yeah. and... Uh, I think just maybe jalapeno. And mayo? Yeah. I can't even can't remember right now. They were good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, they have, like, a um, Galbo milk tea flavor. One these days. Right. Galbo is like a chocolate, chocolate I guess. Thing. Yeah. All right, giant treasure chest. What's your bet? Is um, that a mimic? Oh, maybe it is. I'm going to heal up just in case. Yeah, because they're kind of strong usually. Um, I don't know. It seems quite suspicious because we've never seen a giant chest before. I'm going to so. switch out Veronica because she's running low on, uh, on MP. All right, this should be a good makeup, right? Alright, what do you think? Mimic or giant treasure chest? It's gotta be something. This is weird. It's bigger than him. It's so big. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, the really that doesn't big look one. anything like the chest look. That's a huge tongue. Yeah. Mimic's always supposed Vicious. to be Vicious. I regret, I regret doing this fight instantly. It took <laughs> Senya back to half, or down to half, and then like three of my party members are sleeping. Does she have a thing for... No, okay, we're screwed. Just heal her. For now, I'm just gonna have Valentina do her ass thing. Mm -hmm. Her ass thing. Her ass thing. Ooh, there we go. There we go, that was useful. Well, I did use the stupid yeah. guard thing. Yeah, I'm saying it came in handy. It did. Yeah, he's halfway down now. All right, well, we got we got control of this. Probably fine. Well, they might wanna have no, we're all good. Though. We're all good. Wow, that was quick. All right, what do you think our rewards are gonna be? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's a lot of experience. And pretty good gold, I guess. Maybe I get like a little nothing. Oh, oh. We got an actual treasure chest here. Oh. Oh, it looks like an accessory. Like very. Something? Yeah, let's check it out. Alright, so that mimic is out of the way. How big is this area? Let's go with this map. Okay, so that vine I think makes it so we can't. Well, oh, like, I, actu actually have I actually to have to button. jump. Yeah, so there we go. They made well, it. Find that thing Whoa. looks terrifying. You should fight that. I'm gonna heal up first. Alright. Cool, Fight him. Oh, he's got one eye. That means he can only see half as good. Right? Wait, doesn't that mean he cannot be like 3D? Uh, yeah. Isn't that why we see yeah, yeah. things in 3D? So people who are blind in one eye actually can't see. Like, when they look at a 3DS, it doesn't really work on them. Oh. I guess that makes sense. I would, like, part of me wants to say you're missing out, but then I'm like, actually, no, you're not missing out. I think so, at least. Like, do you when you play a 3DS, do you always turn 3D on or? No, I never. Yeah, it's off for me always. So, like, I don't. Like first month. That turn, I you stop using it. Well, I was using it for like the first month, I guess. Tenya just parried that fist yeah. like a boss. Oh, see this thing? There's nothing to worry about. It's almost dead. It is dead. Yeah, there you go. That's because uh, I think when he punched Tenya's 
spear and really hurt his fan. Uh-huh. It was called muscle guard. Like not way. so muscly. I guess. Um, I think you have to go up that way. Yeah. We have to jump. Oh, we just gotta wait to climb. What the hell? Is it just me or everything here is big? Yeah, like, I don't know. Things are weird. But I think you should go to the side and see if there's some... Never mind then. Alright, cutscene. So this is a boss, I'm guessing. Has a very shiny mouth. Yeah, the inside of that. Looks cool. Yeah. Oh, they're. Oh shit! They're flying. Or now they're actually dead. I don't know. Like, we just absorb them. What is happening? And then we just die. Bad ending. <laughs> Michael Kami was like, watch out guys, it's coming. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. I think being wrapped in its, yeah. its vines or whatever. Um, you were a little late there with the warning. I wonder if the delay between the Japanese and the English release had to do with um, recording voices entirely. Maybe. Or as this translation took a long time, I don't know. Oh, shit. The power of G's fist was too much. must be related to something about like how it's a plant because like his um press thing reacts to like plant stuff oh yeah you're right time. yeah maybe this monster thing like came from the great tree originally and then it like i don't know morphed for some reason what, what is, is that? that just actually i think it's just rocks but Are or maybe sure? mel is trapped underneath them i don't know we'll find out Oh, it is rock. Okay, what's well, an inscription? Oh. Probably. Okay, so it was left. I was left here by the people that found. Discovered? Yeah, that yeah. found this painting. Yeah, so the the painting, I guess, was left over from a different oh, shit. Um, civilization. That's the scratch in the painting. Oh, yeah, it is. So we're legitimately inside the painting now. Does that mean we can get out from here? I guess if these jump reaches that far. Sure. That's what we have two jump buttons for. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're like, yeah, this is the, the, the scratch. scratch from the painting. It just looks really big when you're inside of it, I guess. Oh no, it's coming. Usually before a boss fight, it gives us a save point though, right? So... Oh, would Kami just... Uh, Kami just ditched us. They're all ditching G. What if he can't make it out? He like falls. He's the most useless one of the bunch. So I'm gonna expect them to just jump out from this tiny crack and they get huge. They like expand as they come out. Or not. I guess we didn't get to see it. Yeah, I was thinking as you were saying it, they're just going to show the flash so, of light. And then have them on the ground. Yeah. Well. So yeah, that thing is super creepy. Happy music. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, I think that's a good place to take a break. So, if you... Uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, um, keep it on the channel. There'll be more pretty soon here. Want to go ahead and tell me what you thought? You can leave a comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link to my profile in the video description. And uh, since you're still here, want to go on over to the channel page and find something else to enjoy. But as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again. Take care.